Question number three, David Garrett. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Justice and asks, does he agree that the mongrel mob, the black power, hell angels and the headhunters are primarily criminal organisations, and if not, why not? The Honourable Simon Mr. Speaker. Uh, yes, that's why we've introduced legislation to make it easier to secure convictions against members of a criminal organisation. David Garrett. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. How many patched mongrel mob and black power gang members were invited to the Drivers of Crime Summit on Friday last, and why were they invited? The Mr. Honourable Speaker. Simon Power. Uh, Mr Speaker, two currently patched members attended last Friday, although did, they didn't wear any regalia. They were invited by the Minister of Māori Affairs, Ms. Minister Sharples, and I'm advised that the Minister had been, personally with work, had been personally working with one of them to reduce youth violence in South Auckland. The uh, Honourable Member Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister and asked, has he read the Parliamentary Library research paper of 3 April 2009, which identifies, and I quote, Pākehā street gangs with interests in neo-fascism and white power tendencies grew stronger, particularly in Christchurch, during the 1990s, end of quote, and how are these gangs being addressed within the current justice sector policy. The Honourable Simon Power. Supplementary, uh, sorry, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, no, I haven't read that paper, uh, but I am familiar with the types of gangs to which the member refers. Uh, the government has swiftly introduced legislation uh, that strengthens the existing law under section 98A of the Crimes Act, which seeks to further criminalise participation uh, in organised criminal gangs.